Greetings mga ka-spacers natin out there. Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. This is your ka-spacer and space commander, Professor Jun Kahigal. And right now mga ka-spacers, you are viewing on screen our sun. So I took this solar image at around 2.30 in the afternoon. And kung mapapansin po ninyo mga ka-spacers, so there are several sunspots dito sa ating solar imaging ngayong araw na ito, January 17, 2022. And again mga ka-spacers, this is really a great time to observe the sun kasi nga po yung mga sunspots na makikita po natin. And uh, hindi kagaya ng mga ibang panahon na walang sunspot. So the sun is really dull and uh, walang uh, mga activity. Pero itong mga ka-spacers, no? ito talaga marami kayong makikita ang sunspots sa ating solar image ngayong araw na ito. So again, magandang araw mga ka-spacers. And uh, tumutok lang po kayo and uh, huwag kayong bibitaw sa ating online telescope viewing of the sun. And uh, mamaya po, we will also be observing our full moon tonight, January 17, 2022. So dito muna tayo po sa ating araw. So siguro bago natin i-magnify yung mga sunspots na yan para um, at least eh, mahiwagaan kayo at ma-fascinate kayo sa mga sunspots na yan. Siguro I'll just give some facts about the sun. So, ang ating araw po ay about 4.5 billion years old. And ang araw po natin is an average size star. And it is a hot glowing ball of hydrogen and helium. So, ayun po yung composition po ng ating araw. Hydrogen and helium. And in terms of its distance from the Earth, the Sun is about 93 million miles away from the earth. Ayan po. And uh, yung distansya po na yan ay uh, tamang-tama lang mga ka-spacer. So hindi siya malapit kagaya ng Venus. Kung yung uh, planet natin, yung planet Earth ay medyo malapit, eh baka kumulo po yung ating karagatan. No? And uh, hindi rin malayo, hindi kagaya ng Mars. So kung malayo po tayo ng konti, baka yung karagatan natin, yung mga bodies of water natin ay maging yelo. And uh, life cannot exist pag ganyan. So itong 93 million miles on the average, the distance is just right for life to exist. So ito pa yung tinatawag natin na Goldilocks Zone. Alright, and uh, ang araw po ay napakahalaga no, sa buhay dito sa Earth. Without uh, its energy... Life cannot exist. So, talagang uh, our sun is the main source of energy ng ating planeta. Okay, so ayan po ang ating araw. And kagaya pa ng sinabi ko kanina, ang araw po natin ay gawa or it is composed primarily of the chemical elements hydrogen and helium. And mga ka-spacers, do you know what's happening inside the sun? So inside the sun mga ka-spacers, hydrogen fuses to form helium. Ayun pong tinatawag natin na nuclear fusion. So hydrogen fuses to form helium and in the process of nuclear fusion, the sun releases a tremendous amount of energy in the form of light, heat and radiation. So ayan po yung uh, ating araw. And itong nakikita po natin, itong uh, bilog na ito na na puti, yan po yung visible surface ng ating araw. And that visible surface of the sun is known as the photosphere. Ayan po yung photosphere ng ating araw. And did you know mga ka-spacers na ang photosphere has a temperature of about 5,800 degrees Kelvin? Ayan po, narinig po ninyo, hindi po Celsius hindi rin po Fahrenheit but it's Kelvin. So napakainit po niyan mga ka-spacers. And uh, sa mga sunspots na nakikita niyo po ngayon, ang mga sunspots ay may uh, temperatura na about 3,800 degrees Kelvin. So medyo mas mababa ang temperature nila no? as compared to the sun's photosphere. And that accounts for its darker appearance. 
Okay? Alright, so they look dark only in comparison with the brighter, hotter regions of the sun's photosphere around them. Alright, and uh, speaking of photosphere, mga ka-spacers, so itong photosphere is a very busy layer of the sun because it has electrically charged gases that generate areas of powerful magnetic forces. So these areas, mga ka-spacers, they are called magnetic fields. And the sun's gases are constantly moving, mga ka-spacers, no? which tangles, stretches, and twists in the magnetic fields. This motion creates a lot of activity on the sun's photosphere. And that accounts also for the appearance of sunspots. So ito mga ka-spacers, no? So speaking of magnetism, eh, magnetic forces, ang mga sunspots na ito ay actually magnetic storms. So these are powerful magnetic storms in the sun's photosphere. Alright, so in a few minutes mga ka-spacers, we will be magnifying the image of the sun. And pakiusap lang po mga spacers, so please like and share this online telescope viewing. Ayan, ito na po mga ka-spacers. Yan, you could see now several sunspots in our magnified image of the sun. Ayan po mga ka-spacers. So today is January 17, 2022 and this is really a great time to observe the sun. Ayan po, so nakikita niyo po yung mga sunspots na yan, no? And kung mapapansin ninyo, may lighter outer area yung sunspot. So that lighter area is known as the penumbra. No? Sunspots, they have a lighter outer section called the penumbra. And mapapansin ninyo sa ating magnified image, yung darker, meron siyang darker central region called the umbra. Alright, and itong mga ka-spacers, no? kagaya ng nga sinabi ko kanina, na ang mga sunspots na ito, they are caused by disturbances in the sun's magnetic field. So mga magnetic storms po ito, mga ka-spacers in the sun's photosphere. Alright, so fascinating indeed. And uh, itong mga sunspots na ito, these are cooler regions. No? They appear dark, kaya mga darker areas yan because they, they are cooler than the surrounding photosphere. Right. Okay, ayan po. So, bilangin nyo po kung ilan yung nakikita nyo yung sunspots. No, may mga malalaki at may mga maliliit din. Ayan. Alright, so is that fascinating indeed mga ka-spacers? And uh, baka magtaka kayo kung paano ko ginagawa ito. So, I am using here a Vixen 80mm refracting telescope with a 15mm plosil eyepiece na cellphone lang pong ginagamit ko dito to record the image of the sun. And meron tong solar filter po, a Baader or a Bader solar filter. Alright, so ito po mga ka-spacers. So yung outer region, yung outer section ng sunspot, kung nang mapapansin ninyo, ay tinatawag yan na penumbra. And may darker central region na ang tawag dyan ay umbra. So, ayan po. So, di ba? Na medyo minagnify pa ho natin ng konti para ma-distinguish nyo yung penumbra sa yung umbra ng sunspot. Okay, mga ka-spacers. Ayan, binababa ko yung uh, tinatas ko yung, uh, uh, yung telescope para makita nyo yung mga ibang uh, sections ng ating araw. Okay. Alright, so ayan, meron pa tayong sunspot na makikita pa rin dito mga ka-spacers. Ayan, okay. So ayan, grupo yan ng uh, sunspot. So may mga malalaki, may mga maliliit. Alright, eto pa rin. Ayan, so eto din. Ayan, mga grupo yan ng malalaking sunspots. Alright, so that's really fascinating mga ka-spacers. Okay. So again, please like and share this uh, online telescope viewing of our sun no? para makita naman ng mga tao, lalong-lalo na po yung mga estudyante, para makita naman nila yung araw close up. Ayan. Okay, so that's our magnified uh, image of our sun. 
And again mga ka-spacers, kung magtataka kayo, ang ginamit ko dito ay isang Vixen 80mm refracting telescope. Pag sinabing refracting, the telescope uses lenses to magnify the distant object. And uh, yung eyepiece na ginamit ko ay 15mm plosil. And uh, meron tong solar filter. That's why um, I can observe the sun safely because meron siyang solar filter. Alright mga ka-spacers. So ayan po it is a Baader or a Bader solar filter yung ginagamit ko dito. Okay so kung meron po kayong uh, mga katanungan or kung meron kayong comments or reactions sa ating uh, solar imaging ngayong araw na ito, January 17, 2022, uh, just type in your questions or your comments or your reactions in our comment section below. So, ayan po mga ka-spacers. So, that's our solar imaging ngayong araw na ito, January 17, uh, 2022. Alright, and uh, mamaya magnify ulit natin yung uh, image ng sun kung na-miss nyo po yung mga sunspots na ating magnify kanina. Okay, and uh, again, no, itong mga sunspots na ito, ang unang nakakita po niyan ay si Galileo. No? Galileo was the first to observe the sunspots. Kaya lang po, uh, yung telescope niya, walang uh, solar filter, kagaya ng uh, telescope ko na may filter. So, ang resulta po niyan ay nasira po yung kanyang mga mata. No? But, uh, ayan po yung consequence po for not using a solar filter. So, hindi pa naiimbento kasi. So, anyway, he saw. He saw these uh, sunspots, mga ka-spacers. And uh, again, no? tip lang natin in observing the sun safely. Don't uh, observe the sun directly. Okay, through a telescope na walang filter. So, be sure that your telescope has a solar filter. Ngayon, may mga tips ako on how to observe the sun safely. Meron po kong video dun sa aking YouTube channel, The Science Guy, Professor Jun Kaigal. Na may video po ako dun about uh, how to observe the sun safely. And uh, meron din po kong video ng uh, yan, how to observe the sun safely sa aking uh, channel na The Science Guy TV. Spacers channel. So, please check that out, mga Spacers. Okay. Alright. And, uh, meron din po tayong bagong uh, Facebook page po na para sa mga Las Piñeros or kahit hindi kayo mga taga Las Piñas, you can post your uh, pictures, your uh, images, or any astro stuff dyan sa ating bagong Facebook page. The, uh, Sky Watchers Society of Las Piñas. Okay. Ah, yan po. And uh, bago natin i-magnify yung uh, image ng buwan, uh, shout the uh, image pala to ng araw. All right. So, shout out tayo sa mga officers and crew ng Bedan Society of Young Astronomers. And uh, shout out din po sa mga ka-spacers natin out there. From Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Okay, so ito po ang ating araw. Yan, mamaya papakita ko po yung buwan. Okay, full moon po ngayon. Actually, ang full moon mamaya pa kung madaling araw. Pero talagang uh, all 100% illuminated po yung buwan. So in a way, full moon na rin. Pero yung peak ng full moon ay mamaya po ang madaling araw. January 18 ng madaling araw. Yan to. Mamaya po, in a few hours from now. Doon po yung peak. January 18. Okay. Alright guys. So kung uh, meron kayong uh, questions or reactions about our solar imaging today, January 17, 2022, just type in your questions, your comments, or reactions in our comment section below mga ka-spacers. Alright. So... Eh, po itong mga sunspots na to na nakikita nyo on screen ay eh, ito yung mga magnetic storms ng uh, araw. And ito yung nasa sun's photosphere. Ito yung visible uh, surface ng sun. No? Itong photosphere na ito. Alright. And uh, itong mga sunspots na ito, they are cooler uh, areas of the sun's photosphere. 
Kasi ang photosphere, ang average uh, ano niya, temperature ay eh, mga 5,800 degrees Kelvin. Ang mga sunspots po, they are cooler. Siguro mga 3,800 degrees Kelvin sila. Kaya medyo they look uh, darker than the surrounding photosphere. Alright, so ayan po mga kaspacers ang ating solar imaging today, January 17, 2022. Ayan, and uh, again yung telescope ko ay may solar filter kaya nakikita natin tong araw na ito, tong uh, image ng sun safely. Alright, and uh, again I am bringing the telescope to you mga kaspacers kasi nga hindi pala talaga tayo pwedeng mag-conduct ng uh, face-to-face uh, public telescope viewing. Okay, and uh, again, to medyo hindi nagbabago yung ating sitwasyon sa COVID-19. So, siguro huwag muna ako tayong lumabas ng bahay. And uh, just appreciate tong ating ginagawang online telescope viewing kasi I am bringing the telescope to you, mga kaspacers, at the comfort of your own homes. Ayan, so... Please share this with your friends, your family, and your loved ones. Na itong ating uh, online telescope viewing. Okay, so ito po nakikita nyo yung white ball na ito. Ito po yung ating araw. Ha? And uh, kung mapapansin ninyo, kung tatalasan ninyo yung inyong mga mata, eh, meron kayong makikita ang mga itim-itim na areas. Those are sunspots. Alright. Okay, and uh, again, itong mga sunspots na ito, these are intense magnetic storms. Okay? Ayan, mga magnetic storms yan. And uh, these are cooler areas of the sun's photosphere. Pero mainit pa rin po yan, ha? As compared to the surrounding photosphere. Ayan, so yan. Ito na po yung ating uh, magnified image of the sun. Alright, so yan. Nakikita niyo po yung uh, sunspots na yan, no? Alright, ayan mamaya magnify pa ho natin yan. Now if you're fascinated by what you're seeing right now, just uh, comment down below mga kaspacers. Ayan po, so those are sunspots and again sunspots are intense magnetic storms. Ayan, ito nakikita na itong uh, puting ano na ito, eh, that's the photosphere of the sun. Okay, ayan po, so... Siguro may makikita kayong mga, yan, mga group of sunspots. Ito yung mga magdi, magkakadikit-dikit na sunspots. Yan. And mamaya mamagnify pa ho natin yan in a bit. Okay. So, ayan po yung ating uh, sunspots. So, sana na-appreciate nyo ito. No? Alright. So, share this with your family, family members, your friends. Kung teacher kayo, share this with your students para makita nila itong mga sunspots na ito dahil bihira lang to mga kaspacers, no? Okay? Ayan po. So, medyo binababa ko po yung telescope para kasi may mga sunspots pa sa bandang taas ng araw. Okay. So, ayan. Ito, meron pa, no? Grupo to ng sunspots. Alright, so fascinating indeed, mga kaspacers. Yan po yung edge ng araw. Yan, di ba? Nakakamanga. Ako hindi nagsasawa dito. Kahit mabad ako sa araw, mangitim, okay lang. Alright, so any moment I will be magnifying further those sunspots para ma-identify nyo yung umbra and penumbra. Ayan. Okay, so kung mapapansin ninyo, mga kaspacers, may lighter outer section yung mga sunspots na yan. So, that's the penumbra. And dun sa gitna, medyo darker. That's the darker central region called the umbra. Ayan. And again, these sunspots, mga kaspacers, so these are intense magnetic storms. Ayan. So, di ba isn't that fascinating, no? Alright, so yan po yung uh, sunspots po kanina, no? I observed the sun at around mga alas 2.30 ng hapon kanina. Okay? And again, may solar filter ako dito. My telescope here is equipped with a solar filter so that I can observe the sun safely. Ayan, meron na naman ang grupo ng sunspots na yan. 
Ayan, so really mga ka-spacers, this is a great time. Ito yung uh, talagang magandang panahon na obserbahan yung araw ngayon. Kasi ang daming sunspots. Unlike yung mga uh, previous sa uh, taon na medyo dal yung araw, walang mga sunspot activity. Pero ito ang dami. Ang daming sunspots. Alright, so nakikita nyo po yung uh, lighter outer section called the penumbra and the darker central region called the umbra. Ayan po, so that's our magnified image of the sun. Alright, so sana nagustuhan nyo yan mga ka-spacers. And again, shout out sa uh, inyong lahat dyan mga ka-spacers na nanonood po ngayon from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. So, and kung gusto nyo po magpa-shout out, just type in your name and your location para alam naman po natin kung hanggang saan nakakaabot ang ating live stream ngayon. And uh, later in a few minutes po, I will be featuring our full moon. Full moon na. Alright, though medyo, ang, ang peak ng full moon ay eh, mamaya pong madaling araw, January 18. Pero talagang bilog na bilog na ho ang buwan. And it's 100% illuminated. So, so we can consider na rin as, na ito, as a full moon, an almost full moon. Alright, so in a few minutes, ipipeature po natin. So stick around, samahan nyo po ko mga ka-spacers. And uh, sana hindi pa kayo matulog. And uh, type in your name kung kayo'y gising na gising pa at buhay na buhay ngayong uh, gabi na ito sa ating online telescope viewing. Alright. So ayan po yung ating araw with the sunspot. So sana nagustuhan yun and uh, sana marami po kayong natutunan dun sa ating uh, konting uh, inputs about the sun and mga sunspots. Alright. Okay, so ayan po yung ating uh, online telescope viewing of the sun. And uh, later, mga ka-spacers, in a few minutes, I will be pointing my telescope at the full moon or should I say almost full moon. Alright. Okay, so ayan po yung ating araw ngayon no, with the sunspots. And again, those sunspots, mga ka-spacers, those are intense magnetic storms. Alright, in the sun's photosphere. Alright, so ayan po. And the uh, shout out sa mga officers ko ulit, no? Mag yung uh, mga officers ko ng BSYA, yan, uh, mag uh, uminom kayo ng vitamin C. Yan, uh, palakasin yung inyong mga immune system. Alright, and uh, shout out sa mga ka-spacers natin dyan from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Yan. So, hindi pa tapos ang pandemya. No? Palakasin po natin ang ating mga sarili by uh, drinking vitamin C. Taking in vitamin C, mga ka-spacers. And uh, huwag muna tayo kung lumabas ng bahay. Kung hindi naman importante yung pupuntahan, just stay at home. Alright. And uh, please uh, like and share itong ating online telescope viewing mga ka-spacers so that we could reach more students. Yan, para ma-inspire naman din natin sila no? to love the sciences, lalong-lalo na ang astronomy. And also, I would like to promote my new uh, Facebook page po. Uh, dalawa po ang uh, aking uh, bagong Facebook page, yung uh, The Science Guy TV Kaspacers Channel Yan para sa lahat po yan ng syensya Biology, Chemistry, Physics You name it Alright, and uh, yung aking uh, new channel no? Facebook page Yung Skywatcher Society of Las Piñas Alright, eto na mga kaspacers So you are now viewing on screen Our full moon So eto po ay uh, This was taken kanina mga so mga alas 8 ng gabi. Kanina lang po ito. And today is January 17, 2022. And actually mga ka-spacers, yung peak ng full moon ay mamaya pong madaling araw. January 18. Pero ilang oras na lang naman. Eh, halos, halos bilog na bilog po ang buwan ngayong gabi. And uh, we have clear skies tonight dito po sa Las Peñas. So I took this uh, image of the moon. Live and alive from Las Piñas, mga ka-spacers. Ayan po, di ba? Napakalino po ng ating uh, camera. 
right? And kitang-kita yung mga details kahit ganyan po yung uh, size ng ating uh, lunar image. Mamaya i-magnify po natin yung image ng buwan. All right. So, uh, ang tinatawag nila dito ay wolf moon. No? Pero Okay lang, tawagin nilang wolf moon, no? pero ang buwan po ay eh, that's our Earth's natural satellite. Okay, and uh, di nyo ba alam mga spacers did you know that the moon's diameter is 2,159 miles? So that is equivalent to 3,476 kilometers mga spacers So that's about a quarter of the Earth's diameter. Alright, and uh, ang buwan po natin uh, rotates on its axis every 27 days. Alright, and uh, the moon also orbits the earth once every 27 days. So yung kanyang period of rotation on its axis and period of revolution around the earth ay pareho. And because of that, we only see one side of the moon. So, it takes approximately 27 days for the moon to rotate and uh, 27 days to orbit the Earth. Alright, so ang tawag dyan ay synchronous rotation mga kaspacers. And uh, because of this synchronous rotation or the moon is in a tidal lock with the Earth, the moon uh, exhibits this uh, unusual no, uh, unusual property of uh, Facing only one side, we only see one side of the moon, mga kaspacers. Alright, and etong side na ito is called the near side. Ito po yung nakikita natin no? uh, sa buong buhay natin. No? Yan yung uh, near side. Hindi natin po nakikita yung far side of the moon. Okay, we only see one side of the moon. So paano yan? Paano natin makikita yung far side? Uh, hindi, no? Pero, the far side of the moon, mga kaspacers, was first observed by humans in 1959 when the unmanned Soviet Luna 3 mission orbited the moon and photographed it. Alright, so ayan po mga kaspacers. Now, di ba, kung mapapansin ninyo, kung lalabas po kayo ng inyong bahay, kahit sa bakura lang po, wag nang sa kalsada. Kahit saglit lang, oh, and makikita nyo talagang napakaliwanag at bilog na bilog po yung buwan. Alright? Pero, uh, kahit na ganyan na maliwanag yung buwan, hindi nyo ba alam mga spacers na the moon has a very low albedo? Now, ano ibig sabihin ng albedo? Ang albedo is the property of the celestial body to reflect light. Alright? Uh, sa mga planeta, ang uh, planeta that has the highest albedo is Venus. Kasi nga yung kanyang atmosphere. Yung mundo natin, 0.39 lang yung albedo. Pero yung buwan po mga kaspacers, did you know that the moon's albedo is only 0.10? Napakababa po. But still, uh, the moon looks bright in our sky. Not because it is highly reflective, but because it is so close to us. Kasi malapit lang po yung buwan sa atin. Alright? Pero, hindi ibig sabihin na malapit eh, talagang malapit na palapit yung buwan, no? Ang ibig kong sabihin malapit eh, at least hindi kasing layo ng, kanya, na Venus or Mars. And uh, did you know mga kaspacers that the moon is 238,900 miles away from the Earth? Malayo po yan. No? And it will take 30 Earths to feel that distance between the earth and the moon. So, ganyan po palayo. And din yung mga kaspacers, so lahat ng planeta ay kasya dun sa distance between the moon and the earth. Alright? So, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. Kasyang kasya po silang lahat dun sa distansya na yan. Alright? So, isn't that fascinating mga kaspacers? And it took 4 days for the Apollo spacecraft to reach the moon. Alright, so ito na po yung ating uh, magnified image of the moon mga kaspacers. Ayan, so di ba kayo nahihiwagaan dyan? No, ako nga, ilang beses ko lang nakita yun eh. Pero hindi po ako nagsasawa mga kaspacers. No, pag uh, tumitingin ako dyan eh, laging may bago sa buwan. Ayan, so nakikita nyo yung mga itim-itim na yan. So yung mga black, uh, dark uh, patches na ng buwan, yung mga patag po yan, those are lunar planes. And uh, yung mga patag na yan, 
Uh, they are made of uh, solidified pools of ancient basaltic lava. Okay, pero yung mga early sailors and early astronomers, akala po nila, eh, ano yan, bodies of water. Kaya, pinangalan niya na Maria. No, Maria is the Latin word for seas. Kasi akala nila, mga bodies of water yan. Okay, mga kaspacers, and right now, I am pointing the telescope at the Tycho Crater, mga kaspacers. Ayan. Okay, ayan, so yan, minumod ko ng konti, nalampasan natin yung Tycho Crater. Ayan, so I am moving the telescope back at the Tycho Crater. Ayan, napakalaking crater na yan. The Tycho Crater is 85 kilometers in diameter. Ayan, so siguro kasyang-kasya yung Las Piñas dyan, ha? And Tycho Crater has a depth of 4.8 kilometers. So, malalim po yan. And this is a prominent lunar impact crater located in the southern lunar highlands. Yan, ito mga, yung mga puti-puti na yan, those are actually lunar highlands and impact craters. And the Tycho Crater, mga kaspacers, was named after the renowned astronomer Tycho Brahe. Ayan, so kilala nyo po si Tico Brahe, he's one of the greatest of the naked eye astronomers. So ayan po yung uh, Tycho Crater. And I am pointing the telescope now at the Copernicus Crater. Ayan, yung puti na yan na malaki. Ayan, that's the Copernicus Crater. Kaya lang mga kaspacers, hindi masyadong spectacular kasi puti. No? Medyo puti, maliwanag na yung, yung loob ng uh, Copernicus Crater. Pero kung mapapansin niyo may mga parallel lines okay, radiating along the rim of the Copernicus Crater. So, mga rays po yan, mga kaspacers. Okay, and ayan, yung mga malaking uh, dark patches na yan, those are lunar planes. And isa dyan po yung Sea of Tranquility, kung saan po naglanding yung Apollo 11, mga kaspacers. Alright, so balikan natin po yung sinasabi ko kanina na yung mga parallel white lines that radiate along the rim of the Copernicus Crater. So those are rays. And yung mga rays na yan, they are caused by in the initial impact of the asteroid that created the crater. Ayan po. So yun tinatawag natin na uh, ejecta. Alright, so yung mga puti-puti na yan, again, those are lunar highlands and impact craters. Yung mga itim na yan, yung mga patag po yan ng buwan. Okay, and they are made up of solidified pools of ancient basaltic lava. Alright, and pulit yung uh, Copernicus Crater. Ayan po yung ating uh, full moon tonight. Alright, so again, I am using here an 80mm Vixen Refracting Telescope with a 15mm Plossil eyepiece. Okay, ayan po. That's our magnified image of the full moon tonight. January 17, 2022. But actually, the peak of the full moon is uh, ayan, early morning. Eh? Mamayang madaling araw, January 18, 2022. Pero kahit na po, bilog na bilog at napakaliwanag po ng buwan ngayong gabi. So, siguro bago po kayo matulog, take time. Kung na lumabas ng kalsada, just look up the window. Kung kita niyo yung buwan doon, take time to look up and appreciate the beauty of our full moon tonight, January 17, 2022. Alright, so kung kayo po ay namamangha, If you're fascinated by what you are seeing right now, just comment down below, mga kaspacers. So, please type in your comments or your reactions or kung may naalala kayo about uh, the full moon. Kunyari, naalala nyo yung jowa ninyo. Ayan. So, sabihin nyo lang dun. Type, i-comment down nyo. Naalala ko yung jowa ko. You know? <laughs> Alright. So, ayan po yung ating uh, full moon, no? Alright. Okay. And ako may mga tanong kayo about the moon or anything about astronomy, just type in your questions. 
in our comment section below. Ayan po. Okay, and uh, ang moon po mga kaspaces, no, lagi ko itong sinasabi sa ating uh, online na uh, telescope viewing, ang buwan po ay walang atmosphere. No? Walang atmosphere po yung buwan. So, on the moon, the sky appears dark no? kasi wala siyang uh, atmosphere. And again, kung uh, if you will Google yung mga pictures ng Apollo astronauts, eh talagang uh, dark po yung sky. No? Pero wala po sila. Sa, ang, ang studio po nila ay yung buwan mismo. <laughs> okay, the biggest studio in the world is the moon. Yan. Ang ibig kong sabihin dito yung mga pictures po ng Apollo astronauts, hindi po yan fake. Genuine po yan. We have step foot on the moon. Ayan po. Okay? And uh, since the moon has no atmosphere, there is no sound transmission on the moon. No? So the moon is a silent world, mga spacers. And dito po sa ating uh, lunar image, yung gabi, mapapansin na ganin yun, na the surface of the moon is scarred by millions of impact craters. And ito mga impact craters na to, they are caused by asteroids, comets, and uh, meteorites. And mga kaspacers, if ngayon ang moon ay walang atmosphere, since there is no atmosphere on the moon, eh, there is uh, no way to protect it from bombardments of potential impactors. So, dere-derecho po yung mga uh, meteorites, yung mga comets, and asteroids na yan. Unlike here on Earth, di ba? may atmosphere tayo. So yung mga yung mga yan, yung mga potential impactors, they burn up. Okay, in the atmosphere. And kung malaki lang yan, and kung may crater man nan, uh, yung mga craters and they are eroded kasi di ba may erosion, so unti-unting na erode yung mga craters na yan. Dito sa Earth, no? pero sa Moon walang erosion diyan kasi walang atmosphere. All right. So ayan po yung ating buwan ngayong gabi. Ayan, so kung kayo po ay nahihiwagaan sa ating uh, lunar image tonight, just uh, type in your reactions, mga kaspacers, in our comment section below. Ayan, and uh, kung meron po kayong naalala about uh, ating, sa ating uh, lunar image, ayan, share it with us, mga kaspacers, kung anong naalala ninyo while viewing this uh, image of the moon, kahit na virtual lang po ito, no? And uh, tong online telescope viewing na ito ay ginagawa natin kasi hindi pa to talaga tayo pwedeng mag-public telescope viewing na face-to-face. -face. Because uh, again, sa banta ng COVID-19. So ang ginagawa po namin, isa sa mga advocacy namin sa Bedan Society of Young Astronomers and sa Manila Sirk Astronomers, we want to bring the telescope to you mga kaspacers. Ayan po. Okay, so again, in a few minutes, mga kaspacers, magnify ulit natin yung image ng buwan. So, kung na-miss nyo po yun. Alright. So, di ba napakaganda po nung buwan ngayong gabi, no? Okay, mga kaspacers. And uh, itong buwan natin, ay, uh, talagang it's uh, a natural satellite. Okay. Ayan. So, ang buwan po ay uh, gawa po yung, yung soil niya, yung inapakan ng mga Apollo astronauts ay gawa po yan sa tinatawag nilang regolith. No, regolith is a layer of loose soil and rocks produced by meteorite impacts over the long history of the moon. Okay, and uh, itong regulate na ito, mga kaspacers, absorbs most of the light which falls on it. And ito po yung dahilan kung bakit mababa po yung albedo ng ating buwan na 0.10 lang. Okay, so ayan po mga kaspacers, some uh, facts about the moon. Okay, and uh, ang nakikita po natin ngayon is the moon's near side. Ito po yung lagi natin nakikita sa ating uh, light span hindi nyo po makikita yung far side ng buwan. Okay, because the moon is in synchronous rotation with the earth. Okay? Pero ang Luna 3, no? Uh, nakapunta yan na the, the Soviet space probe, Luna 3, uh, photographed the far side of the moon. It was the first to observe and photograph the far side of the moon. 
Okay, so ito po mga ka-spacers. This is our magnified image of the moon. Ayan po, napakalinaw po ng ating camera. Imagine ninyo mga ka-spacers na para kayo nakasakay sa Apollo spacecraft. Ayan, and uh, we are in orbit around the moon. Okay, so ayan po, isang damakpak na craters ang makikita ninyo. And yung mga itimid na yan, those are lunar planes. Mga patag po yan ang buwan. And uh, nasa gitna po yung Copernicus Crater. Yan, medyo maliwa. Yung malaking puti na yan, that's the Copernicus Crater. Okay, so my telescope now is pointing at the southern lunar highlands. And, and mamaya, ipapakita ko po yung Tycho Crater. Alright, so that's our magnified image of the moon. And so I am pointing the telescope at the southern lunar highlands and ito po yung Tycho Crater. Ayan po. So yung crater na yan ay malaki. No? The Tycho Crater is about 85 kilometers in diameter. And ang lalim niyan is 4.8 kilometers. So napakalaking crater niya. So, ito po yung Southern Lunar Highlands. No, wala tayong makikita ang dark patches dito kasi itong lugar na ito ng buwan, ito po yung uh, mga highlands ito, mga lunar highlands and impact craters. Ayan. So, yung itim, yung uh, patag po yan. Yan mamaya, Bobby, we will point our telescope right dun sa mga patag or mga lunar plains or marias. Okay, so ito po yung uh, Tycho Crater ulit. Ayan, so be fascinated mga ka-spacers sa ating uh, Tycho Crater. Okay, so shout out sa mga gising na estudyante ko. So kung gising pa si Miss Judea Cabanero and si Miss Hannah Franstan. Yan, karamdam naman kayo. <laughs> Alright, and ang uh, ating uh, presidente ng BSYA, si Miss Angeline Kilam. Yan, paramdam naman kayo. Alright, and uh, marami pong salamat sa mga nakatutok po ngayon at uh, sinamahan niyo po ako ngayong araw na ito, January 17, 2022. Kung sa ating uh, online telescope viewing of the sun and the full moon. So again, ito po yung ating magnified image of the moon and yung mga itim-itim na yan, those are lunar planes. Ang tawag po dyan ay Marias or seas because early astronomers and early sailors, they thought that those dark patches are actually bodies of water. Ayan, di ba? Alright, and uh, marami nagsasabi na may tubig daw sa buwan na nasa ilalim. And actually mga ka-spacers, meron akong napanood na Korean uh, series no, sa Netflix. Ang title niyan ay Silent Seas. Ayan, uh, itong uh, series na ito, it's a Korean uh, series, sci-fi series. So, napakagaling ng mga Koreano na gumawa ng sci-fi. Eh nakadiscover sila ng tubig dun sa, sa buwan. Ayan, so check that out mga ka-spacers. No? And uh, mas maganda po yan kaysa dun sa Don't Look Up. No? Nasa Netflix na rin yan. Don't Look Up. But I uh, strongly recommend Silent Seas. Eh, mas maganda po yan kaysa dun sa Don't Look Up. Anyway, that's just my opinion mga spacers. Okay, so ayan po yung uh, Copernicus Crater. And ito po, ginagalo ko po yung telescope. Ayan po yung Tycho Crater. Ayan po yung ating magnified image ng buwan ngayong gabi, January 17, 2022. So siguro hanggang dito na lang po tayo mga ka-spacers and uh, maraming maraming salamat dun sa mga nakatutok po ngayong uh, araw na ito sa ating online telescope viewing of the sun and the full moon. Uh, and again guys, please like and share mga ka-spacers itong ating online telescope viewing so that we could reach more people we could reach more students so that they would be inspired to love the sciences, especially astronomy. Please check out my uh, Facebook page, the uh, Science Guy TV, Spacers channel, and yung Facebook page po ng Skywatchers Society of Las Piñas. 
Alright, and also check out the Bedan Society of Young Astronomers. Alright po, and uh, siguro nga dito na lang po tayo. This is your Kaspacer and Space Commander, Professor Jun Kahigal saying, Live long and prosper. Alright, mga Kaspacers, always stay safe. No, manatili muna tayo sa ating mga tahanan at hindi pa po tayo ligtas sa banda ng COVID-19. Maraming maraming salamat po and see you in our next online telescope viewing.